What's the deal, chat track? It's your boy, B-Mazin, I'm back with another video. It's like 12.36 a.m. And you know, I haven't did a beard video in a while. It's been a cool minute since I did a beard video. So I just have to, you know, come through and you know, and give y'all five, five tips on how to maintain and take care of your beard. So stick around, thumbs up this video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel as always, man. Y'all show mad love. I thank y'all, man, most definitely. Now let's get to the video. I'm reading off of my phone, so if, if, if y'all see me looking down, it's just me reading off of my phone. I just got some notes. I just want to make sure I hit every key point that I want to hit and share every piece of advice that I want to share to y'all. So first and foremost, starting off, you most definitely got to have patience. Your beard is not gonna grow overnight. It's gonna take patience, time, dedication. You're gonna go through the rough stages, but it's all it's all a process, it's all a journey for you to grow as a as a as an individual and as a man, you know, you gotta have patience off the bat. If you don't have patience, then you know you're just gonna you just gonna be growing your beard and cut it again because you don't have the patience. You feel me? So patience is a virtue at that. <laughs> That I know a lot of you fellas are dealing with, you know, the itchiness and, you know, having an urge to scratch. But don't let that trick you into wanting to cut your beard off. Because you got to get through that, you know, to get through, you know, having a full, you know, face, you know, of, of, of hair, man. It's a, totally it's a totally different caliber. So, you know, you most definitely got to get through that stage for sure. And, you know... Once you get through that stage, you know, as long as you take care of it and stuff like that, you'll be good. When you first start growing it, I would say leave it alone for at least four to eight weeks. You don't want to really be scratching it and, you know, just having the urge to cut it. Just leave it alone for at least four to eight weeks and then, you know, and see how, how it's coming in as long as you moisturizing it and keeping it, you know, protected and keeping the moisturized, like I said, cause that's the only thing you gotta do, bro. Your beard, you know, our beard, this is hair, bro. So, you know, you gotta moisturize it and moisture. And I'm gonna talk about, you know, the different products and what I use later on in the video. Genetics, genetics plays, genetics play a huge role, you know, in, in beards and having facial hair. For instance, my father, you know, no facial hair at all. He can get you know a little mustache, little you know a little here, but it's never a full beard. On, on the other hand, my grandfather was able to grow all of it. So it's all about genetics, you know. And our DNA is it, it's incredible. They're not some men can't grow a beard. That's that's not their fault. That's just genetics. So tip number two: cleanliness is next to godliness. You know. You got to clean your beard, you got to keep your beard clean at the same time and also keeping your beard clean will help with the itchiness and stuff like that because you know, you as you as you're going throughout the day and you adding products or you know, you sweating or you know, we, we're men, you know, we, we do a lot throughout the day so you know, you can't just be applying oils to your beard for two weeks straight you know, so you have to clean it Cleaning is very vital and important to your beard, you know? And plus, it's on your face, bro. You know what you, you, it's on your face. You know, you eating food, you know, your beard all dirty. For me, I do my, my wash days are usually on Sunday. I wash my hair and my beard. I, I use the same products in my beard as the same products on my hair. Um, you can check my wash and go video. And yeah, I use the same products in my beard also. Tip number three, like I always say, moisturize, man. Moisturize your beard, bro. That's the best thing you can do for your beard is keep it moisturized. And I'm not talking about lotion. If you use lotion or any other thing that don't belong in your beard, stop right now, bro. Stop it. It's not beneficial to your beard. You might see something, some growth or whatnot, but in the long run, it's not beneficial for your beard. You can start with EVOO, which is just extra virgin olive oil. That's how I started out in the beginning stages. I was using plain extra virgin olive oil and it was getting the job done, period, point blank. 
But you know, just me being, you know, my beard growing more and more, I want to dip and dab in certain beard products and beard oils and beard butters. And you know, I got out of the olive oil, but don't get me wrong, I'm still using that olive oil in my hair and in my beard occasionally because I just love olive oil. Olive oil is such a, a great oil. You have your natural oils that you can use and you can go to your beard oils and your beard balms and your beard butters. But you know, you just have to find what works for you. You can start off straight, all natural oils. That's the best or best bet, you know, if you really can't afford beard oil, beard butter, if you can't afford, you know, a high expensive beard wash, you know, just use regular shampoo and conditioner. If you didn't know, I was on the panel at the biggest natural hair event here in LA. Nappy Wood LA and this vendor was here from Nappy Styles. Focus, focus, focus. It won't focus, it's on me. All right, let me see. I'm trying to get that, boom. I picked this oil up, man. They had a great deal on this stuff, bruh. And you can see where the oil is at right now. Just how much I've been using. But anyway, I picked this oil up, man. It's beard and hair oil and you can put it on your body. That's dope. And it has a manly smell. I just love the smell. I just love the smell. Nappy Styles, if you watching this, man, y'all did y'all stuff with this. I use this a lot. Send me some more. You send me some, please. Send me some. If you send me some, man, I will do a review on this stuff because that's how much I like this stuff right now. <laughs> But anyway, it has shea butter, black castor oil, and vitamin E oil, which are all oils that are great for the body and skin. And man, you know, I can I can twist my hair up with this oil and have great definition. I put this oil in my beard at night, and this is just, this is just my go-to oil right now. Just just period. This is just my go-to beard oil. Tip number four is trims. Me personally, I really didn't take this step serious in the beginning stage because I just wanted the length, you know, you know, just the length. That's all I really cared about was the length, not really the health of my beard, and that's really important. So I would say most definitely trim when needed, and you would know when you need a trim. You know, you would know when you get split ends and you know your ends is very tangled and entwined with each other, you know you need a trim. So I would advise you most definitely start getting a trim because you know, it's just dead hair anyway. Forget the limp, man. Just worry about the health. You know, it's all dead hair, shedded hair. Tip number five is just the tools, you know, the tools of of your beard. You know how you're gonna maintain and maintenance your beard. You have combs and brushes. Me, I started out with just plastic combs. I'm not gonna lie, just plastic combs like everybody else. That's all I can afford. Man, it was getting the job done. So peep this out. I decided to get a wooden beard comb and it's by Coils by Nature. So I decided to pick this up. They had a deal on this. It was like $4 and something cent with free shipping. So I picked this up. For sure, and this is my my go-to <laughs> comb right now. I still use plastic combs also, but right now this is just my go-to right now. I love it. Um, I haven't really noticed that many that many shedding hair with the wooden comb. I have noticed. I haven't noticed any really shedding hair, and I would say a brush. A brush is also vital. You don't want the brush too hard now, you know, you just want it nice and soft, just because it's going on your face, you know? So you just want to be able to just to brush, just to brush your beard. And what the brush is going to do is going to train your hair to lay down. And it's going to give you a nice, you know, smooth looking look for your beard. So I'm going to show you guys, you know, what I do at night. It's like my, my nighttime routine, what I do with my beard. And it, it has it has been helping me for the past week or so. I just started, but I'm gonna grab this water right here. This is plain water. It's plain water and a spray bottle. I'm just gonna spray it in my beard. 
because I really want it to happen in the beard. I don't want it too wet. And if you can, if you can do this, if your beard is long enough, you can do this. I would say try this out, man, and, and let me know how this work for you. Because I, I most definitely see results in doing this. And my beard is nice and moisturized. I'm gonna take a couple drops of this beard oil. I don't want a lot because I'm gonna put some on in the morning also. I just need some, you know, just to kind of give my beard a little slip and moisture. I don't know if y'all can see that. Okay, a couple drops. Now, This stuff smell good, y'all. Okay. Now for me, at night when I'm, I don't really use no tools at night, really. I like to get in here with my fingers. And what I do is, man, I twist my beard up. I just like this. Like two strand twists. Like, it just, just helps me with great retaining length in my beard. Of course, I can get in there and just tangle my beard because my beard is so curly and, and like, like, I can pull this off, bruh. Like, my beard is so long right now. It's just so curly that it coils up. But look, look how long it is. Just go right back up. So like I was saying, the reason why I do this too because I just wanted to see what it would do, because I do this for my hair, just to keep my hair protected at night. And then I got hair in my face, so I was like, you know, let me, let me do this in my beard too. So I just get the, the tangles out and just twist it up. And what this really do is, it protects my beard while I sleep. And it also stretches the beard to make my beard appear longer after I take the twist out. And I, I spray a little water and I take the beard oil again at a couple more drops and I just comb it out. But yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to close this so off and actually see the twist that I'm doing. I'm not pulling here. So yeah, I'm, I'm just very gentle, just going in, detangling it, and twisting. It look, keep it looking like I got snakes on my face. But yeah, I'm just twisting. Once it dry and all that, you wake up in the morning, you take the twist out, you spray water, a little bit of water. I really just like to get in there, man, and detangle because my beard is so curly and combing it sometimes isn't really enough. So this just allowed me to see my length and also helped me just to detangle better. So yeah, twist. Yeah, no, no need for no tools or nothing like that for me. I got night. I just like the sound. It just stretches the hair and make your beard appear longer. It looks crazy, you know, going to sleep, but it works for sure. Now, this is just gonna protect my beard while I sleep. It's not gonna be all over the place. I know a lot of y'all had that issue. I had an issue and I can't stand it. I can't stand waking up in the morning. My beard is every which way because I sleep wild. I'm a wild sleeper. So I'm gonna talk about things that also help me currently right now also. I talk about this a lot in my hair videos. Satin pillowcases, man. 
Satin pillowcases are for sure vital if you're trying to grow your beard, trying to grow your hair. It's, it's vital. What the satin is gonna do is it's gonna allow you to, it's gonna allow your hair and beard to attain all the moisture that you apply, you know, such, as, such as your oils or whatnot. If you didn't know, because regular pillowcases, you know, it pulls out all the moisture out of our hair and beards. That's why our hair be dry and brittle and it breaks off. With the satin pillowcases, the friction between your beard and the material just, it just glides. You know, it just allows your, your hair, you know, just to glide on the material, leaving you where you know, be prone to less damage. Cotton pillowcases, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not good for our hair. So that's why I always say, stay away from the cotton pillowcases if you can. I got this pillowcase from Dollar Tree. If you have a Dollar Tree in your area or a 99 cent store, check out, check them out to see if they have pillows, pillows. Check them out if, to see if they have satin pillowcases. And you can also find them at Walmart and stuff like that. They're not expensive at all. They're probably less than five bucks, but you're gonna see benefit from them in your hair and your beard for sure. So, man, that was the five tips I have for y'all today. You don't have to do this, you know, every night to the extent as I do. This is what I do personally. You can try it out for yourself if you have a long beard and you know it's long, but you know, the shrinkage is real, you know? So you, know, you can try this out and see, you know, how your beard reacts, man. So yeah, that was my five tips. It's your boy, be amazing. And don't forget to be amazing. You, 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 and you stay bearded up. Continue to do what you do and don't let nobody stop you. It's your boy, Be Amazing, and I'm signing out.